The USC men's volleyball team struggled earlier in the year, but is playing better lately and is now ranked 14th in the nation. I'm now joined by Keely Orr to break down how the team can keep improving going forward. Thanks for being here, Keely. Of course, Aaron. All right, Keely, so the team has been playing many close games as of late, but they've still been struggling a little bit. So what exactly is going on? Yeah, like you said, they've been losing by a small margin, winning by a small margin, and usually that means you're breaking down in the fundamentals. If you look at their stats, the glaring one that stands out is their attack percentage. When they win, they have a large attack percentage. When they don't, they have a low one. It seems obvious. A lot of players, they have negative, and that's you don't want a negative attacking percentage, which usually means your fundamentals and your hitting is breaking down. So our first play we're going to look at is a compare and contrast of the same play, what goes right and what goes wrong. Okay, so if you look at, they're going to take, he's going to, outside hitter's going to pass it, setter's going to set it, and he just sails it. Obviously not what you want, he's frustrated. This almost identical play, but this time the libero defensive specialist sets it, and the hitter gets a nice kill. That's obviously what you want in the corner, making that guy look bad. So let's break it down. So the first play, he, this is where he's at, at the highest point of his uh, approach. And what you want, you want the ball to be like here, not, not obviously as far away as it is, because what you want is to snap down on the ball. If you look at the next slide of uh, the next play, he's, re he's reaching so far. This is like a last attempt to try and touch the ball at least. And when you're doing that, if you're just getting your ball at the, t if you're getting your hand at the top of the ball, it's gonna sail. And that's what you see in this play. It just sails this way. You wanna snap down and get an angle. And that's what you can see in the, in the second play. So let's look at it again, now that you know what went right and what went wrong. So like I said, this is a nice pass by the outside hitter. He gets it to his, his setter and just sails it. You hear that noise? That means that he hit it with the top of his fingers. This one, the libero does a nice set. He snaps. You can hear the difference in the ball just like that. But uh, So you can see the difference in the fundamentals of hitting, and they need to improve on that. Absolutely, Keely. Very interesting, and I can definitely see a difference between those fundamentals. But is there anything else the team should really be working on? Yeah, for sure. Another thing, if you look at their stats, uh, when they're losing close games, they're not getting their serves in, and they're not setting up a blocking presence. You can see that when you look at their game tape. Um, let's look at this play that covers both. Um, so... They're going to serve it. They serve it to the libero. Not good. And their back row just gets killed. Um, if, you look, if we're going to break this play down, uh, so, what's ha so to understand what's going on, we've got to set up the context. This is li their liber libero, which just means this is the guy who's specifically here to pass. Obviously, you don't want to serve it to him. Um, their setter's front row. This is their middle blocker. This is their outside hitter. And then this guy is also eligible to hit pay attention to him we'll come back to him uh so what yoder is trying to do when he's serving is get the ball to the setter obviously that's not going to work because the libero takes the ball as he should so now it's an easy pass to the setter that's not what you want um so if we go to the next slide you can already tell just by this picture alone that usc's blockers are already fooled and you can tell because their outside most guy is in the middle of the court. You want this guy to set up base over here. Why? Because this guy, who's an eligible hitter, is going to come and see that and attack you. And their setter knows that because their setter is already setting it to this guy. And you can tell by his arch back and where his head's going. Where your head's going, the ball's going. Um, and you can see how that doesn't work out for them as they're just now realizing it and changing position right now when the ball's already here and he's just about to attack. And you can see that it just leaves this, this net open. And that's, as a hitter, you want to see that. That's like gold to you. And then you leave your hitters out to dry. And obviously, that causes some, some tension between the two. And you can see that at the end of the play. So let's take a look at it. So he serves it to the barrel. The barrel comes up like he should, sets it back, and just absolutely nails him in the back row. And that's not something you want, obviously. Absolutely. Cute. Wow. Uh, quite a difference out here, but definitely important. Uh, to note in general. So mm -hmm. going forward, what can the team do to kind of turn some of these close games into some wins? Uh, what happens to USC when you look at their games? They're losing by, they're, it's close, and then the opponent goes, goes on long runs. And when that happens, in the game of volleyball, you're done with. And to get that, to stop those long runs, you got to get a side out, which means that when the opponent is serving to you, you stop, you get the point, and you serve back to them. You, you stop them from serving at you, essentially. So let's take a play where they, they actually do that well. Oh, no. 
here is the setter. He runs the play to Lucas Yoder, who gets it done. Lucas Yoder is actually their go-to guy. He can do it all. He can pass. He can set. Uh, he can even hit. He's an outside hitter, so you want him to. So this is a tough play for the setter. See how he's running in. This is You want a side out for this one, obviously. If you have your setter running in back and forth, it's like leaving your quarterback open to get hit. You just don't want your setter to do that. Yoder, he's good at this. He knows what he's doing. He already has his hands open. His, his legs are open where you need to pass. He's ready for this pass, which is what you want. Um, their setter knows what he's running. He, he, you can see the beginning of the play. He tells Yoder, okay, I'm going to you. But what's nice is that he tricks the, middle, the blockers over here because he has all four eligible hitters ready to hit. And that's what you want because then these guys are frozen. And, and the setter knows, okay, you know what? We need to get this point. Let's go to my guy. Let's go to Lucas Yoder. And that's what they do. And Yoder, he's smart. Uh, the, he sees that the middle blocker is already, he's done for, and that outside blocker, he's trying to compensate. There's a shot down the line, and Yoder, he gets it, and he gets a kill. And we can look at it one more time. All right, so they're in a tough rotation right now, 5-1. Setter's running in. Yoder passes the ball perfectly. All hitters are up. Yoder gets the kill down the line. A great, a great play that they can run to get a side out, and they should utilize that more. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Keeley, so much for breaking this all down. And the team is headed to the Aloha State, where they'll take on the number four Hawaii Rainbow Warriors tomorrow night.